so today. Memory prices are plummeting. NVIDIA's new GPU was announced early. 4070 Ti performance, the GPU NVIDIA forgot, and AMD is set to recall their 7900 XTX. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, with Ryzen 7000 requiring next-gen DDR5 memory and Intel likely set to do the same before long, prices are pretty important. Luckily, I have some great news. In a new story by DigiTimes and later reported by Tom's Hardware, Taiwanese sources are apparently claiming some big price drops. In fact, DRAM spot prices have dropped by a whopping 40% in 2022. Not only that, but 8GB DDR5 module contract prices have declined by a whopping 43% between the end of February and October. Tom's Hardware even shows how much prices have dropped here. But get this, it's apparently set to get even better. According to the report, DigiTimes doesn't see a recovery for the DRAM segment anytime soon. The reason is thanks to manufacturers' excess inventory as well as actual device makers trying not to end up in the same boat. So they're making sure to be more cautious. To give you an idea of how bad things are, the most recent figures we have are from Q3, where DRAM manufacturers reported a whopping 30% drop in revenue. To top it off, some NAND prices have continued to drop with last quarter seeing TLC NAND wafers going down by as much as 20%, though SLC NAND and is apparently in a better spot. All in all though, expect great prices as we move into the new year. But first, with new CPUs and GPUs coming out, make sure you're ready with Meld Alerts, the completely free sign-up that sends you an email when new PC hardware is releasing. Because let's be honest, keeping up with all the new PC hardware releases can be tricky. And don't worry, I'll only tell you important stuff like CPUs, GPUs, etc. Plus, I'll send you great deals as those come out as well. That way, you won't have to worry when new PC hardware is releasing. So yeah, it's completely free at MeldAlerts.com, and it only takes you a couple seconds. So make sure to check that out below. Next up for today, one of NVIDIA's AIB partners named Elsa just announced the RTX 4070 Ti early. The company made the terrible mistake of uploading the landing page for their upcoming 4070 Ti card before the actual GPU was announced by NVIDIA. That obviously confirms the 4070 Ti is right around the corner, with the actual announcement likely set for tomorrow. And if you want to learn about all of that when NVIDIA makes the main announcement, make sure you subscribe to GamerMelt. Oh, and I'll have an affiliate link down in the description so you can be ready for the actual release. It doesn't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. As for the card Elsa announced, they have since taken it down, but not before screenshots were obtained. It's called the RTX 4070 Ti Eraser OC Edition, and as you can see, it's a dual slot design, which actually makes it pretty slim for a 40 series GPU. They also confirmed GDDR6X memory. Unfortunately, that's all they confirmed, but luckily we have some new performance numbers in the next story. The report comes from Video Cards, where they claim to have 3D Mark scores for the upcoming 4070 Ti. This obviously allows us to compare it to other cards to at least get an idea of performance. And when we look at them, we can see that the 4070 Ti gets 5,497 in Speedway, 14,457 in Port Royal, 23,367 in Time Spy, 11,200 58 in Time Spy Extreme, 27,721 in Fire Strike Extreme, and 13,698 in Fire Strike Ultra. Video cards also shared a decent chart for comparison, and here's where things get interesting. When compared to AMD's likely competitor, the 7900 XT, the 7900 XT actually wins in Time Spy and Fire Strike scores, yet loses in Port Royal and Speedway, so it's looking to be similar to the matchup between the 7900 XTX and 4080 meaning the 7900 XT would likely win more in rasterization, with the 4070 Ti taking the lead in ray tracing. Of course, I'd suggest waiting for third-party reviews, especially given 3D Mark doesn't tell us everything, but it's definitely a big indicator. Next up, if you remember back in 2021, I was going over rumors about a potential 16 gigabyte 3070 Ti. Of course, as you know, those never came to fruition, but according to a new story, they may have actually been accurate. Nvidia just apparently decided to cancel it. 
The story comes from a tweet by Megasize GPU, who shared an image of GPU-Z. As you can see, it shows a 3070 Ti. It also comes with 16 gigabytes of memory, which is GDDR6 instead of GDDR6X that the 8 gigabyte 3070 Ti has. Not only that, but it has a slightly faster base and boost clock. He also shared images of the card, which is likely just a prototype that's in a Founders Edition 3070. Ultimately, it's interesting to see what could have been, especially given the 3070 Ti could have definitely used more memory. But alas, for whatever reason, Nvidia canceled the launch. And lastly for today, I have an update on the recent story I covered regarding AMD's reference 7900 XDX cards having high junction temps. Today's story comes from the well-known overclocker Der Bauer, and it looks like we may actually have an answer this time. In the video, he actually bought four of the problem 7900 XTX GPUs from his viewers to get to the bottom of the issue. And for starters, he confirmed a total of 48 new cases himself. So this is clearly more widespread than, say, Nvidia's 4090 connector melting. As far as what causes it, he tried a few things, like changing the orientation as some claim that it got better temps from sitting horizontally. But while did get better after a burn-in period, they got really hot. Ultimately, after a ton of tests, he reached the conclusion that it must be the card's vapor chamber. He figured it out by rotating the GPU, which caused a jump in temps, but rotating it back didn't fix anything. Basically, it seems like the liquid in the vapor chamber is having an issue with circulation. He's going to potentially do a follow-up to find out exactly what's causing it, but this is a big deal. Whether it's a material issue or design problem or what, this is clearly affecting a lot of cards. As Tom's hardware mentioned, it may even require a recall, which would be a massive problem for AMD. So while that does it for today, if you're having issues with your 7900 XDX, let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!